let's look at question 37. Bing Soon filled a cylinder with water. He then added a pebble into the cylinder and observed the water level. So Bing Soon concluded that there was more water in the cylinder after the pebble was dropped in. Which topic is this question on? Okay, so this is a question on the topic of matter. So what did we learn about matter? Matter has mass and it occupies space. Okay, so when you place the pebble into the water, what will happen to the water? The water will get displaced, which means that the pebble occupies space in the water. The water has to move upwards. Do we add more water to this cylinder or do we take away any of the water? The answer is no. So in this case, Bing Sun said that there was more water. No, the reading of the water level increases, but the amount of water remains the same. So this is how we're going to phrase our answer. We say no, the pebble occupies space. Why? Right? The pebble will occupy the space of the water in the cylinder, so this will cause the water level to rise. What do we learn about liquids? Liquids have a definite volume, and therefore the volume would not change, the volume of the water would remain the same. Okay, so that's for part A of the question. Let's look at part B. He then added different number of identical pebbles and recorded the water level. So he recorded his results in the table below. Okay, so zero pebbles, one pebble, two pebbles. What do we see over here? Every pebble that we add, the water level increases by 20 units. So we can then infer that one pebble has a volume of 20 units. Okay, so let's look at the second part. A water tank was used to flush a toilet bowl as shown below. After flushing, water enters and refills the tank. The tank will stop filling when the water level reaches L. So Bing Su wanted to use less water to flush the toilet bowl. Megan suggested to put some pebbles into the water tank. Based on the information given, explain how Megan's suggestion will help Bing Soon to conserve water. So first of all, let us try to understand what this question is about. When the water is flushed, right, the water level will decrease and then the water will start to fill up the water tank to level L. So how do we use less water to reach the water level L as shown in the diagram? If we were to put some pebbles into the water, as what we've seen in the first part of the question, the pebbles would occupy the space of the water, which will cause the water level to increase, right? But we also say that when the water level increases, the volume of water in the tank, or in this case, the cylinder previously, remained the same. So in this case, if we were to put more pebbles into the water tank, the amount of water needed to fill the water tank to water level L, it will be less. Okay, so this is how we will phrase our answers. The pebbles would occupy the space in the water tank. So what happens now is that less water will be needed to fill the water level in the water tank to reach level L, and that's how Bing Soon is going to conserve water. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my discussions, please hit on the subscribe button below. If you'd like to find out more about my analysis of other questions in this paper, please click on the videos on the right. So, thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one.